All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to polish a combustion chamber of a cylinder head. This is going to be a couple different videos. What I'm going to do is uh, this video is going to be for the combustion chamber. I'm going to show you guys how to polish that. And then I'm going to have another video on me porting and polishing the intake side. And then another video of me porting and polishing the exhaust side. So this is going to be a three-part video series I'm going to do. But for today's video, it's going to be the combustion chamber. So to start off, I taped off the head and then cut this out with a razor just so I, I'm only polishing in this area that I'm working with. What I'm starting with is a little the camera to focus it's a it's a little like stainless steel mesh not mesh but little stainless steel brush uh with bristles it's not very aggressive at all but i took it right there just a little bit to try it out and you can see it's already starting so i'm gonna do all the chambers with that first and then i have some other wheels in here that I'm going to try if this doesn't take all of that out. Then we're going to move on to these abrasive buff wheels that I have. I've used these on cylinder heads before and they work very, very nice. I will leave a link to these down in the description for you guys, but they have a bunch of different, um, like grits. This one's pretty aggressive. The red's the most, this one's pretty aggressive and it's green. Then there's, there's a white one too, but I'm out of those actually. Then I'm going to take little polishing wheels with some of our polishing compound and go over all the ports as well and polish them to a almost mirror finish. I'm not going to go crazy, but I'm just trying to show you guys how to do this at home for yourselves. So I'm going to do this one port at a time. I'm going to do this one pretty much start to finish for you guys because then all the rest are the same. Then I'll show you the finished product when they're all finished. So let me get this all sanded with this brush and then I'll show you guys what it looks like right after that. All right. So this is after the stainless steel little wire wheel thing. Now it doesn't look too bad, you know, you can see like some pitting and stuff, but that got a lot of the, compared to the other ports, you can see it got a lot of the surface rust off. Now, we're going to go over it with the Scotch Bright abrasive wheel. We're going to go over it with that, and then we'll see how it turns out after that. <laughs> You can already see how much it's changing. Look at that. I see how much how much that's that changed from the wire wheel and we still have a couple couple grits of those of these to go through so that was the most abrasive this one's the next up then this one then this but it's not turning out too bad compared to the other ones Here goes the black one.
next one up is the green one. All right, and for the last step, we got our little wool wheel that we're going to put some polishing, some polishing compound on. This is, here it is after the polishing. It's not perfect, you can see there's still some like, see right there, there's some imperfections and pores and stuff, but you can get all that out with time. I just was doing this real quick to show you guys. You can see that one compared to the rest. Now I, I'm gonna do the rest of these, but and then I'll show you guys the finished product, but you can already see how much nicer that is. So let me get the rest of these done, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, here it is. Didn't, didn't take me too much longer, but I just followed the same steps as before. The red buff, the black one, the green one. I don't have the white one. I have to get more. Then followed by the wool wheel with some of the polishing compound. And this is how the rest of them turned out. Now they're not, you know, they're not perfect. But they are shiny and smooth to the touch. I didn't go as far as I could have went with these. I just wanted, you know, this is kind of just messing around with this head. Uh, if I plan to redo it in the future, you know, I'll redo it a lot nicer. I'll take my time. But this just shows you what you can do at home with basic tools, you know, a Dremel. You don't even need this extension for the Dremel, just a Dremel and some basic sanding bits and some polishing and a little bit of work you can do this at home in your garage rather than taking it to a machine shop and paying a lot what this is for is basically to prevent carbon buildup on the combustion chamber and that'll help with uh detonation and stuff this is more for like turboed cars i'd say but you can do it on NA cars too. You can do it on any head. This just helps with uh, build up and stuff. But that's it for this video. Um, the next one I'm going to be doing the exhaust ports. I already got the gasket and you can see I traced those out. That is... You can see how much space we have to pour it out there. So that's gonna be the next next video. We're gonna be doing that. But you can see I cleaned the top and I cleaned this with the oven cleaner. If you check out my last video, I'll put that like right here down in the corner. I'll put the cleaning video, uh, what I cleaned this with. 
but this was all black and nasty before. And now it's all these ports. Can't really see too well, but these were solid black with a ton of buildup. And now they're not as bad as they were. All the carbon buildup's almost almost gone. I mean, there's a little bit in there, but for the most part, it's gone. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be coming out with more content very shortly with the other videos like the porting of the exhaust that's going to be a video and then the porting of the intake like i said is going to be a video as well so i'm going to try and put out three videos on this just to show you guys you know how you can do this at home relatively cheap i will leave links to everything i used down in the description and like i said check out my other video to see how i clean this i'll leave that link to in the in the corner over here but that's going to be it for today's video guys i will see you next time